Now, after operating in Singapore for more than 20 years, Dome Cafe will close its last outlet at Parkway Parade on June 23rd. The bistro specialises in Australian cuisine and coffee and was also one of the first cafes in Singapore that started serving specialty coffee. I have here with me ST Food Online Editor Heidi Koo. Heidi, is it, uh, I've heard you have a special story tied with Dome Cafe. Yes, it's about the cafe exiting the Singapore market yep. and closing its last outlet at mm. Parkway Parade. Mm. Mm. You have a special memory. I, I was told you had a date. <laughs> there you had a first date at a particular dome cafe outlet. Maybe you want to share with us. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a, yeah, I have some good memories of the place, especially yeah. the outlet at the Singapore Art Museum. I remember mm. having a date there. Mm. And I was thinking, this guy has very good taste. Uh, to actually choose this venue as uh, a place for us to meet up. Mm. And it was nice, the ambience was nice. Uh, I liked the coffee and the steel ring mug and also like classy sandwiches or, or nice plates. Yeah, it was, it was a nice experience, especially uh, back at, at that time. Mm. I'm not going to specify when because that will give away my age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So was there a second day at uh, the same cafe? Uh, well, maybe with another person. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah. lots of good memories. I'm sure. Yeah, good memories. I think not just for me, but for you know a generation that has grown up with that gourmet coffee culture. Mm. Yeah, and um, and it's it's a it's a pity really that it's exiting the scene. Uh, despite the fact that uh, you know the coffee culture is is really hot now still, mm. uh, but I think it has evolved and um, things have changed and I, I think it has got to do with uh, competition, the sheer level of competition. Right. Yeah. Mm. So that's what we're here to talk about actually, sure. reasons why you think Dome Cafe is exiting Singapore. Yeah. So you were talking about the sheer level of competition. Mm -hmm. So for one, uh, off the top of my head, it's because we've got a lot more major coffee chains here. Yeah. You have so much uh, competition at this uh, moment in time because when Dome Cafe first came to Singapore, that was in 1993, mm -hmm. there was competition but it was just uh, taking off and it did very well because in 1994, the figures for the gourmet uh, coffee industry, it was worth about up to $30 million. Uh, and that, that's, that was quite a good number and you know people did well and then you had more uh, different chains opening up, different brands of gourmet coffee outlets that you could go to. I remember having choices like uh, Coffee Club at Boat Key as well. Also, it's like there was this focus on nice ambience, you know, it's like a place to meet up with friends, a place to be seen. Um, but now it's, it's the competition is, is no longer at that level. It's, 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 uh, there's so much choices for consumers and I think we have moved beyond just a place to go for gourmet coffee and sandwiches and even pastas because for like pastas then you have people who are afraid like no carbs, you know. And you have, coffees, uh, you have uh, coffee places and uh, cafes that offer a lot of uh, different choices such as plant-based options, uh, keto-friendly, uh, gluten-free options. Mm -hmm. I think people want more than just gourmet coffee. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to provide them with more than even just ambience. Mm -hmm. uh, th there's got to be like something unique and special because you have cafes in really quirky locations like Tiong Bahru and also Little India where they have things like wood-fired ovens that the owner built from scratch or like, uh, you know, it's got to provide a perfect backdrop for your selfie or Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just the focus has moved beyond just gourmet coffee mm -hmm. and, and, you know, nicely built sandwiches. It's got to be Instagram worthy, mm -hmm. uh, something that you can take a picture of, show off to your friends that, oh, I'm so cool, I'm eating this very nice looking <laughs> food, you know, it's about aesthetics as well. It has to be made of unicorn tears, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not unicorn tears, but it, you've got to give people something special, uh, a reason to, to be there because mm -hmm. with, you know, the sheer number of choices and options, uh, there's got to be something uh, you know, it's got to be hip, it's got to be edgy, but even for these really hip and edgy places, I think they have to really strive to keep up because today you have something that, you know, creates the buzz, mm. but then what are you going to come up with next? Mm. You, you've always got to be raising the bar and then someone else comes up with something new that captures everyone's attention. So what are you going to do next? I think this is a question that a lot of people in FMB, not just cafes, mm. you know, they have to think about, yeah. Mm. And you were saying uh, they need to serve, uh, they keep the menu updated, right? They keep up with the yeah. trends. And they can't just serve coffee. Yeah, I think. It's specialty coffee. Yeah. Right. I think, um, I, well, in the case of Dome Cafe, uh, you know, in, in light of them closing, 
they are bringing back some of the classics, which I understand is like uh, for some like uh, one of their sandwiches, their original classic sandwiches. Um, it has evolved over time, but for this time period up to its closing, they are using the original recipe that they used to 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 serve. And and well, I guess for people who want a taste of nostalgia, that's that's the time to go visit. And I thought it was really interesting. Uh, this person that I interviewed, mm -hmm. she said she had walked past her mom loves Dome Cafe, the the one at Parkway Parade, um, but she has never felt this uh, motivation to try it until the news has you know is is out that it's closing, and now she feels this this sudden urge to to try it. And so uh, she told me that she's taking her mom there. Mm -hmm. The mom's uh, last visit, mm -hmm. and for her, it will be the first visit. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. But I want to know, Hedy, will you be going back there? Uh, to Don I Cafe? might. I might. It's not the same uh, outlet, but yeah, it's know, not memories, the yeah, right? it's not the same outlet. But I think it will be nice to go back there and just um, well reminisce or like uh, yeah. I think I think it will be it will be it will be worth a trip to go down there and, and maybe with the same person you went on a date with. No, I don't think so. We're no longer in touch. <laughs> 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 thank you so much thank you. Your insights and also your thank you so much experience now if you haven't been to dome cafe or would like to go again before it closes you can visit the last outlet at parkway parade by june 23rd and there we have it our top stories for the day for more news and videos do log on to straightstimes.com once again my name is Alyssa. join us again same time next monday for more big stories